Huh? Stop right there, criminal scum! This video is not made for children. If you're under age 13 or younger, please, for the love of Christ, live at once, or you will be judged! Hey guys, what's up? So welcome back for another Transformers Studio Series review for you guys. And today I'm going to reviewing this. I have here is the Transformers Studio Series Deluxe Class Autobot Top Spin from the movie Transformers Dark of the Moon. Now if you guys were to see in the last video what I did, which is Sentinel Prime, go ahead and check it out. And also I'm sorry about the background noise, I have my fan on because... The AC from the playroom has stopped working for some apparent reason. So yeah, I found Top Spin in my local Walmart, the one by Roswell, and I am very excited to have the new figures for for the new wave. Unfortunately, I don't have Cliff Jumper, the Revenge of the Fallen, Soundwave, same thing with Skipjack. I'm still waiting for my Overload figure to get here soon. It's just the waiting for the speed of the waiting is kind of slow. Not kind of slow, it's very slow. Now, I'm very excited to have this with me. Now, before we're going to continue this, please make sure to like, comment, subscribe. And this video is not made for kids. This is for adults and teenage collectors. So that means, if you guys are under age of 13 or younger, get out. And I'm dead serious. I don't want any little kids in my channel. Because... They want me to get they want me to get kicked out of YouTube. So the government can put me in jail. So yeah. So here's the packaging what it looks like. You got top spin right here. You got the Battle of Chicago, of course. Get the Transformer logo right there. On the side you got top spin right here. All ready up and fight. Here it is the side of the packaging with top spin with top spin and his vehicle mode. And also, I don't know what this is for anyways, but if you guys do know, leave a comment down below. He transformed about 15 step, and here it is close by on his face. Pretty good. Move this box out of the way. Bring in top spin. And before, I'm going to show the vehicle mode. Here is the accessory that he comes with. He comes with two claws for the arms and two guns. Which is all messed up. Well, one of it is. Which I'll get on with this later. Now, top spin vehicle mode representing a a Chevy Impala Nat stock car NASCAR. A NASCAR stock car, sorry. Is it a reverse? I want to say, this is the best vehicle mode of top spin. The owner who drives from the Lowe's. Number 48 is Jimmy Johnson, and I do want to shout out to Jimmy Johnson for driving the Lowe's NASCAR, and besides his car was in the show in the third movie of Transformers. Just looking by the painting sculpt and detail on this figure, it looks so well. Now on a camera, it looks like black, but an off camera is gunmetal gray. And the gun is warped, which I'll get on with that later, but it does look so well. See everything on the back right there. You got the exhaust right there. You got the NASCAR logo right there in the back. You got the Ultra Wreckers or Wreckers Ultra right there. Instead of the Goodyear's tire, please toy hacks make some repo labels. 48, 48, 48 on all side. And of course the Impala logo right there. Now it's time to talk about the elven in the room. What, is, uh, what I mean is the guns and the accessory comes with. Yes, when I got out of the packaging, these things got warped. On these two, these, it bent like this, so I went to use hot water for it, press it down with something heavy to make a straight same thing with this. This gun was so warped, I had to fix it with hot water, and I had to make it straighten out, but for this gun, this gun came here and came fine, just a little bit of bent. But the worst of the worst is this. Yes, one gun is straight, but the other one is look limp and crooked. Yeah, Tosspin is a very dis is a disappointing figure. Look, 
Field gamal is great, but the guns, they're all made of a soft rubber plastic, which Hasbro need to go back, rework this thing, just like call back every top spin video uh, figure, remodel the the weapon and make it hard plastic instead of soft rubber plastic because it will warp. It's terrible. And even worse, lack of paint. And look, no sponsorship on this. What the actual hell? Okay, I am a being a total dick on the vehicle mode, but a limp gun. You can't have a limp gun while you're shooting around shooting Decepticons. And even worse, the front over here won't close down, so I had to use some crazy glue to peg this in, let it out, let it dry, and actually fix perfectly, minus the, you know, there's a gap right there, but still, the rest of it suck. Weapon store on him, weapon storage on him. You put the claws right there. Make sure don't. There we go. Make sure the this tab will tap in, will play again. The gun and with the call right there. If if this thing can let me. So you see the whole piece right here. Gap can fill this in. Do the same thing on the other side. On the putting the claws away. Well, as you can see, the whole entire robot mode right here. Just thank God for that. It's almost look like Robuster, which I do have it with me, but do size compare with. So yeah, to plug into two guns on both sides. Does have pegs in there. Make sure it's nice and perfectly plugged in. Plugged. And there we go. Yes. And look, Robuster is all armor weaponized and he's ready to shoot some Decepticons. Decepticons. Look, I'm like very exhausted right now and I am pretty pissed off. I was trying to make another video on during my work on my lunch break, but unfortunately the camera got the recording got badly corrupted. I had to delete everything. And I cursed this phone I have. Now let's do some size comparison. The only figure I have for size compare is with Robuster. Unfortunately, this, that's the only figure I have. All the other figures are in storage, so yeah. But here, just compare both of them to help. This is a bit taller because of the gun. The length is a bit, he's a bit longer because of the gun right there. Nothing in the back. But they look great together. When I get rope, um, what foot? I thought I finally, finally get the full team of records in my hands. And whoopie doo, I'll be happy. And same thing with everybody else. And the transform top spin is pretty easy and simple. First thing first we wanted to do is unplug the weapons that he comes with. These things are not removable, unfortunately, so they are stuck in. Move these out of the way. The first thing first, start off by untabbing the side pin, side piece, both well, the side panels over there. On peg, untab these. Make sure to not break the panels, or you do, you're screwed. So yeah, untab these. Make sure to strain them out. These aren't a ball joint. Double ball joints. One here, one here. Now come right foot come to the front of the vehicle mode. Make sure to untab these. Then you split them out. I just did like this, then like that. Next up is fold up this piece right here, the back of the vehicle mode. String bring out the arms. Let's bring this piece down like that. Make sure to have it out. And fold out the arms later. Whip this out. Put this rod piece back there. Make sure the legs can get out of the way first. So let's start up on the back. First thing first you wanted to do is push these down so they will rest in nice and perfectly. Then 
angle this to have it this angle. Flip this down like this. Make sure to plug these in. Spin this around 180 degrees like this to the top. These are gonna move in like that, which I don't like, but it is what it is. Now you got the back finish. Let's start off with the legs. First thing first, open this piece up like that. Now now I'm getting a bunch of dislike because you guys don't care if you you guys want me to be gone. I want to say screw you all. Flip the feet the feet down because there in a there's a slot right there in this slot hole. While plug this in, flip this tire back there. Do the same thing on the other side. Unfortunately, I don't have the original Dark of the Moon top spin because I'm broke. So yeah, straighten out the legs, which by the way, the legs are made of RN ball joints, which I had to fix it with crazy glue. So yes, everything needs to be fixed with crazy glue with the limbs, but the side panel was okay. Straighten out the arms, fold out the hands, straighten out the arms. Flip up the hands. Now for the side panel, these will on tab. And this on a double hinge, if you can see. You will tap this slot right there. Slot this in. And these will be the shoulder guns for top spin. Do the same thing on the other side. Have it like this angle. On tab. Bring it out. Tab these in. Bring, plug in the claws because they will have a peg here and another peg hole on the other side. So plug this in to give it more like movie show accurate. And thank God, because of the Revenge and the Dark of the Moon version, the original top spin figure, it looked, the, uh, the claws is the only hand, which is kind of terrifying. Make sure to balance him out. Straighten out the And there you have pack. Top Spin in his robot mode, and I don't know why the figure looks a bit crooked in the camera. There we go. Top Spin looks so well on him. Just just by looking at him. This is a good figure that I got in my hands. Painting is going to detail on this figure is it's perfect. I, I like it a lot. Robot mode looks great, but yet again, the rubber piece are a giant pain. Forgot to string this. Uh, there we go. Of course, you got the backpack cable, of course. And it's kind of like it would to use this, the bumper right here as the, as the um, heels right there in the back of the figure. See closely on the head. Here it is, closely on the head. I know you can see it's. I know it's kind of a bit pixelated. So yeah, the Autobot symbol on the forehead doesn't show. You know the full detail on, on the Autobot symbol it is kind of sucks. Articulation wise, his arms can go 300. His head can go 360 degrees because it's on a ball joint. And I like it with the sculpted like he have hair. His head can go up like that, but down like that these right here the exhaust are made of a soft rubber piece which I don't like arms is both of the arms is on a ball joint doesn't mean it does go through any six degrees yes I had to use crazy glue to make sure it did not get loose arms can go in and out biceps swivel well forearm swivel right here on the on the arms bend of the elbow and this angle and this can go back, but that due to the transformation. Wrist can only can go in and out like that, but that due to the transformation. No waist swivel, unfortunately. Waist can go forward. This this leg right here was loose, so I had to fix it. And it can go way back that far. And it can do the beautiful spread for Mr. For Mr. Jabby the Hong right here. Bicep swivel is on a mushroom peg, so that means it can go 360 degrees. Well, mostly because this piece right here can get in the way, so yeah. Bend at the elbow, I mean the knee, right there, and um, then there's no ankle pivot. Guns can go up and down, same thing with this. 
on the other guns right there and also you can plug in the guns right there on the hands or up there up there sorry not nope, up there up there sorry see the guns plugged in which they don't plug in nice in robot mode which is kind of sucks but you could, I could try to plug one in in robot mode I know the video is terrible but screw you guys I'm tired but here it is like that right here so yeah alright I'm gonna give you guys the size comparison first then show you guys the the background the background that what top spin comes with so I'll be right back you guys all right here's size compare with only the real buster damn you top spin stop following me and real buster is taller than the top spin wow that's pretty disappointing yeah that's kind of very depressed right there so yeah let's get him out of the way now each every studio series figure comes with their own background which damn it damn it damn it okay there we go which of course top spin sentinel prime rope buster shockwave they all comes with the same background which is the chicago battle and there you go here it is the chicago battle which is a nice, pretty good background for this. I, I, I like. I like it. Just gonna straighten out a little bit right here. But still, a pretty good background. I'm not gonna lie. It's, this looks lovely. Alright, I'm gonna pause the video, give him the final pose, and give you guys my final result if you guys want him in your collection or not. So, I'll be right back. And this is the final potion I give you guys, but overall Top Spin is a pretty good figure and I love this one a lot. Compared with Robuster, they look great together. Let's just bring Robuster here. There you go. But hopefully I will fin I will finish custom painting Central Prime, then I will start with Top Spin. Now if you guys want to see the last Studio Series review for you guys. Make sure to go ahead and check it out on the outro. Same thing, the information symbol up there. It's also the full playlist of every Studio Series figure that I review. Hopefully tomorrow I can give you a review for you guys. So, you guys already know the rules. Like, comment, subscribe, and until next time, I'm out.